Hey guys, we're gonna show you some tips for applying Cat5 to porous substrates like the CMU we have here. So the first thing we're gonna do is the same as with any Cat5 application. We're gonna mix the material. So get in there, mix it real good, uh, top to bottom, side to side, do all that for three minutes. So if your substrate is really porous, like this block we have here, it's better to do two coats. So the first coat being just a thin coat, um, all we're looking for here is a thin coat It's going to cure quickly and shrink the pores in the block. And here's why we do this. When a substrate is as porous as this block we have here, and you go about trying to get your, your normal 12 to 15 wet mills in one coat, a lot of the material is going to soak into the pores before it dries, so you don't get the coverage or the protection that you need right on the surface, which is where you need it. So you're using much more Cat5 than you really need to. Um, that's gonna cost you more money in material costs, obviously, um, but you're also probably gonna have to come back, put on more Cat5 to even the spots out um, and make a pinhole-free surface. Because the first coat is so thin, it's gonna cure pretty fast. So you can come back, hit it with the second coat, um, and with the second coat, you can get that nice, even pinhole-free surface that we always talk about. So for your second coat, you're looking for the same things as you would in a normal Cat5 application, right? Thickness of around 12 to 15 wet mils and a good pinhole-free surface. So this method can be helpful, like we said, on, on porous CMU block. Um, some types of sheathing um, are also pretty porous, so this method can help there too. Doing it this way, um, you can just get in there, get it done fast. You're not gonna waste money on excess material. And probably the most important thing is you're gonna get that good, high-performing air barrier that you expect out of Presco's Cat 5.